Hello dear students welcome to practical biochemistry the topic is identification of unknown solutions identification of unknown carbohydrate solution first you have to perform molly's test if you see violet ring then the carbohydrate is present now you have to perform iodine test if you are seeing deep blue color of the iodine test perform the benedict test in the benedict test you are not seeing any red precipitates now perform the benedict test after hydrolysis if red precipitates are observed then the starch is confirmed now in the iodine test if you are not seeing any change of the color there may be due to the mono disaccharide molecules you have to perform the benedict test if you are not seeing any red precipitates on the benedict test this may be non reducing sugar sucrose is present now you have to perform benedict test after hydrolysis and if you are seeing red precipitates then sucrose is confirmed now in the benedict test if the red precipitates are observed there may be due to the reducing sugar now you have to perform barfoid test on the barfoid test if you are seeing floating red precipitates now you have to go for the selivanov test in the selivanov test if cherry red color is observed then fructose is confirmed and if you are not seeing any cherry red color glucose is confirmed now for the confirmation with the osazon test osazon test you will see needle shaped fructosazon crystals if on the barfoid test you are not seeing any floating red precipitates now go for the osazon test in the osazon test if you are seeing sunflower crystals then maltose is confirmed and if you are seeing cotton ball crystals then lactose is confirmed that's about the identification of unknown carbohydrates identification of unknown protein solution first you have to go for the biurate test if you will observe purple violet or pink color then protein is present if there is no purple violet or pink color protein is absent once you decided that protein is present in the solution now you have to adjust ph to 5.4 with one percentage acetic acid using crp or bcg as indicator if you are not seeing any precipitation now you have to boil the solution at ph 5.4 if the coagulum is observed then the solution contains albumin or globulin if you are not seeing any coagulum then adjust the ph of the solution to 4.6 if you are seeing precipitation casein is present if you are not seeing any precipitation now you have to go for modified millions test and aldehyde test if both the millions and aldehyde test are positive proteoses and peptones are present in the solution if both tests are negative then gelatin is present in the solution that is the identification of unknown protein solution identification of unknown solution first you go for the biurate test if you are seeing purple violet or pink color then protein is present in the solution if you are not seeing any purple violet or pink color then protein is absent in the solution so first have to decide whether the protein is present in the solution or not if the protein is present then go for the unknown taste for the protein and if the protein is absent now you have to go for the molly's taste on the molly's taste if you are seeing reddish violet ring that is carbohydrate is present now you have to go for the unknown carbohydrate taste but if you are not seeing reddish violet ring that means other substances other than carbohydrates are present in the solution now you go for the hypobromite test if the hypobromite test is positive then urea is present in the solution if hypobromite test is negative uric acid is present in the solution so this is the identification of unknown solution if you like this presentation please try to share it with your friends group batch and colleague thank you so much everyone